here we have this uh, website shield the composite so you can actually go there and check out the required information that you must provide for any referencing so let's say if we go here on the website so here it's in norwegian so let's say we go to english and then we have the referencing style so you have some more information about the referencing styles and things like that they have they support many different versions uh they support many different styles so let's say if we go to apa 7 and here you will find information about like what is it that you are trying to cite here you have the most common ones but here you have a lot of deep details okay so if you're dealing with any of these categories of references how to cite them and what kind of information you should provide you, you will find it here okay so let's say have a look on article and when we're looking into articles there are several categories we have journal article with one author two author three author uh, three to 20 authors journals with 21 or more authors then we also have recognition for newsletter newsletter from online news and so on so let's have a look into one of them so journal article with one author okay so when we are doing in-text citation, then this is, should be the format that we should follow. Author, year, and page number. Page number only when it's needed, when you're copying something directly. And this is how it will look like in in-text citation. In the reference list, these are the information you should provide, okay? So you should provide the author name, normally the last, later, last name first, and then the initials of the other, other names, first name and middle name and then the year of publication, then the title of the article, then the journal title, which should be normally in italics, then the volume number of the journal where it was published and also in bracket, it should be the issue number and then pages, and then the DUI of the article. Okay, so here you can see some examples, right? You have the author name, then we have the name of the article, then we have the journal name in italic, then we have the volume number, issue number in parentheses, and also the page numbers. And when we have the DOI, that's what we do. Sometimes we have some articles for open access where they don't have the page number. So in the open access articles, we only have the DOI, no page numbers. So you present the volume information issue and then article number and DOI, okay? Let's have a look into another example. We go back to APS 7 now let's say we go to book uh, let's say we look into book with two authors here two authors so you put information about author names author the last names of the two authors author and author comma year and page number page number only if you're quoting directly from them copying directly a definition or something like that okay you can see the example here and in the reference list, the full information should come up. So here you see, we have the author names and then the year and the title of the book in italics, then the edition of the book, because most books have several editions. Books are updated over the years and there are several editions. And then the name of the publisher. This is very important for books. We have to provide the name of the publisher. And here you will see an example, okay? You can also see the information we need to provide when we are citing using a note. You will also see the information we need to provide when we are citing with Zotero. Okay, so that these are the information we have to fill in when we are citing with Zotero. So this is something to remember. Let's go back and let's look into one last example. So here you see there are many different uh, possibilities, but we'll just look into one more, the news later. So here, author and year. So only the author name and the year name. In the reference list, we put the author, year, date, title of the article, newspaper title, italics, and pages if available. So here you see an example, okay? And here you see another example. But also one more thing I normally put all the time for newsletter, so that is the link of the news if it's an online news, okay? So in this case, when we're saying that newspaper article, we are not referring to any online news. So this is a news which is published in a printed newspaper. But if we're looking for online news, so let's go back here and we check for 
online news article from online newspaper. Yeah, here it is. So the index remains the same, author and year. In the reference list, you put author, year, title, news article in italics and URL. Okay, as you can see here in this example. So, and for EndNote, you have to make sure that you provide this information in EndNote. So the URL is really important when we are doing online news. Also same in Zotero, okay? I hope you find it useful. So using the Shilda Composite, you can actually, for a for any types of referencing styles, you can actually find the types of information that you have to provide in the list of references. So not providing the, not providing appropriate information details for references is also a kind of plagiarism. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope it helps you to write plagiarism free. Feel free to share this video with your students, colleagues, and friends who are involved in academic writing.